evening, everyone. Hey, please, no sleeping, at least not yet. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. There we go, there we go. So I'm not going to teach you how to speak proper English. There are people better at that. But I'll tell you what. It's an amazing evening at Munich Comedy Club. Yay! Yeah, that's what you're saying, and you're thinking, it was until you came on stage. See, people, watch out. I have superpowers. I can read your minds. Uh huh. But we're not going to read everybody's mind, and I'll tell you why. There's a gentleman here at the first table, handsome, charming, well dressed. We had a little chat before the show. If we read his mind, it would be something like a hundred and fifty shades of grey. <laughs> Sequel on steroids. <laughs> so, we're not going there. Back to what's on my mind. Remember, I'm Polish. You may not know that, but Polish national sport is complaining. <laughs> complaining. Besides car theft. Okay? <laughs> so, I'm Polish. I spent all, almost all of my adult life in California. And California oh, oh, is great. Gorgeous nature, beautiful cities, diverse people, top companies. That's why I left. <laughs> I couldn't find enough to complain about. <laughs> Would have been different now with Trump, but too late. I moved, I moved to Bavaria. And guess what? Gorgeous nature, beautiful cities, diverse people, top companies. What the fuck? That's basically California plus or minus. Plus Oktoberfest, minus sunshine. Still, pretty good package, right? So, after a lot of thoughtful consideration, I found something to complain about. Uh huh. I do not speak German. <laughs> and you, you need the basics if you want to live in Germany or if you want to date a German guy. I found it out the hard way. So, ladies. Ladies, non-Germans, dating a German, just men, that's fine, on Parshi, that's fine. So, listen up. The ladies who are married to Germans, who are further along in their relationship, you can go, get yourself a drink, take a break, you know that already. So, I met this cute German guy long time ago. He's married now. He's married to me. And he's not that cute anymore, maybe because he's married to me. Anyways, I did not know what to expect, you know, on a romantic side of things. I was clueless. Until I figured out, you get about five seconds foreplay. Each and every time. Five seconds! It's all you get. What the fuck? Well, it's in the language. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf. <laughs> thank you, thank you, mystery songs. <laughs> yeah. What happens after, you know, that makes up for the five seconds, but that's how it goes. So now we all know. Then, that might just for dating, now we move to Germany. And I had to learn the local garbage sorting ordeal. <laughs> I don't know why you people are laughing. Okay, so a friendly neighbor comes over and he goes something like that. Is it paper or cardboard? If paper, clean or soiled? <laughs> um, metal, a plastic, what kind? A hazardous waste, like diapers? <laughs> um, compost? It's easy. So, plastic and metal are collected every second Wednesday. Uh, paper, last Friday, before a full moon. <laughs> uh, compost? it crawls out of your bin. <laughs> and finally, garbage. Black bin. Why? Because you need a black karate belt to open the bin in summer months and not pass out. <laughs> I stand there and I'm thinking, what the fuck? <laughs> but I can't say it. Because how is what the fuck in German? That's you, I know, I said. That doesn't sound that effortless. Classy as what the fuck. Okay. So, fuck rocks. 
Let's admit it, okay? That's the best word ever. You can fuck up, you can fuck off, you can even fuck around. You can fuck someone, you can fuck something, give a fuck, you cannot give a fuck. You can even ask someone to fuck themselves. And it's not even that dirty. Remember, I'm Polish, and for me, the sound of duck squawking is fuck, 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 fuck. Yellow duckies in Polish children's books go fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> if you're lucky, your baby's first word may be fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> it's okay, nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> so, my personal life record is 1500 F words an hour. Yeah, woo woo. <laughs> Wait. Well, I was about to deliver our second baby. We are driving to the hospital. I'm in fucking pain. My husband drops me off, German husband, and then leaves to repark the car. That's not funny, that's true. And it's not like a baby on the way situation or something, right? You can leave your wife in labor. You cannot leave an unlawfully parked car for five minutes. I don't speak German, but I bet you that emergency instructions read something like, <clears throat> in the event of an emergency, repark your vehicle to a secure location. Then proceed to evacuate yourself and your family. So he's reparking the car for like an hour. I am crawling to the hospital entrance. I make it there on last breath. And there, a perfectly styled next stop model nurse welcomes me with, Ma'am, good, good evening. Have you pre registered? <laughs> Fuck? <laughs> Ma'am, may I have your name, please? Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> and there comes her stroke of genius. Middle of the night, giant bellied woman, swearing like a sailor. Ma'am, are you in active labor? <laughs> Fuck. Bingo. So they roll me away in a wheelchair, they dump me on hospital bed, they do some peeking and poking, a doctor shows up and he says, I'm afraid it's too late for painkillers, what the fuck? <laughs> Then my beloved husband shows up, having reparked the car, two hours, because you have to find this perfect spot. <laughs> he should have asked me, remember I'm Polish, I can make a car disappear. <laughs> I look him in the eye and I say, fuck you, man, no more sex for you. Fuck you, people, fuck you, baby. <laughs> Then, about a thousand fucks later, the baby arrived. We did not name him fuck, but it was a close call. So now I'm here, um, basically stuck with the fuck, waiting for what the fuck in German to be invented. Have yourselves a great fuck. This was Grace's first time on a comedy stage.